Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's In My Makeup Bag. Today I'm joined by the amazing Sam. Hello. Now Sam is a makeup category manager here at Adore Beauty. In other words, she basically decides what comes in and what comes out. I get to work with all of the brands and see all the exciting products that are coming and also making some ranging decisions and what we think you'll love. She's also a makeup artist and has been for 12 years. Started out my career on the old Napoleon makeup counter yeah. and here I am. This was actually gifted by L'Oreal. Oh, how nice is that? <laughs> a couple of years ago with my name It's nice it. of I, them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not big no, enough. <laughs> making, yeah, I know. Look, if I had to pick a primer now, this is kind yeah. of on your... Um, She's a bougie gal. Luxe side, I do rate the mm -hmm. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. Mm -hmm. It is great if you've got quite dry skin mm -hmm. um, and makeup stays on all day if yep. you pop that one on. Do you have dry skin? Yes. Yeah. And I like a really dewy, glowy finish. Mm -hmm. uh, and I find that is quite good at smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles which is perfect oh well. i like that it's what Hot we tea. need now in terms of what i reach for at the moment huda beauty glowish at uh, skin tint now i wear a fair light mm -hmm. and these tend to run a little bit deeper and more golden than what your normal foundational tint shade would be so i've taken a shade lighter and that's in zero two nice and glowy a little bit goes a long way the brush that I use with it is the buffing brush. So you can buff mm. it in, you can kind of layer it on. I've yeah. not heard a bad review. I'm obsessed with it. It does run on the more dewy side and look, it does give a fair amount of coverage. So I do rate it. My next product, and I will circle back, but in Ooh, saying okay. that, yep, yep, I yep. wear this new Huda Beauty Tantor with the skin tint just to warm it up a little bit if mm. I've popped a little bit of fake tan. It's like so, a cream bronzer. Yeah, and yeah. you can use your fingers um, or the brush to buff it in and it kind of gives you a really nice glowy mm. holiday finish. There is another product I like in complexion and I know this is another favourite as well. Mm. The Studio Radiance which was formerly face and body. Yep. I know a lot of us use it uh, and I actually mix it in with some of my other foundations to shear uh, it down or bronze like it up that. a little bit. If I had to pick a concealer it would be the All Over from Lancome. Exactly what it says it is all over so you can you know cover up any imperfections that are around the eye so that's perfect. I love 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 this concealer it is great oh. beautiful consistency not yeah. too thick nice and easy to blend buttery and i think it's it's honestly the the big doe foot applicator doe foot applicator that gets me it's nice and quick and easy in the morning i would have to say in terms of cheap products at the moment definitely mm -hmm. loving a stick blush yes uh, once again this is huda and they stay really glowy uh the so shade dewy. range is really great and yeah. um, there's something in there for everyone but it stays nice and glossy mm -hmm. and really long wearing for a cream product glossy that's the word glossy. every single time i wear this blush i get a compliment They'll yes. be like, oh, what's on your skin? Or like, your skin looks really good. I'm like, no, 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 it's the blush. You can never go past uh, yeah. Paula. You can see I've hit the pan on this one. Oh, yeah, she's loved. I use this every day just as a really soft sort of contour bronzing up the cheeks, but I also use it as my eyeshadow on mm -hmm. my day-to-day. -day. And then sometimes you go with your Huda Booty. Huda Booty. <laughs> Huda Beauty Cream Bronzer. Yeah, so yeah. that one is great um, if you really want to amplify your contour. If you really wanted to, you can sort of bring it down here to bronzer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea yep. actually I've not done that okay so base is pretty much done it is do you powder at all I either like to use a very finely milled loose translucent powder mm -hmm. the makeup forever ultra HD yep. but then as well I do like a little bit of glow on top of glow yeah. so this is the Giorgio Armani pressed luminous silk powder mm -hmm. and it's got a little bit of a glow so to it. stunning so if you're wearing quite a, a kind of a matte finish foundation yeah. then this is perfect because it's like an airbrush it, yeah it gives a yeah. dimension eyes so i mm -hmm. am a big fan of kind of a little bit of a, a bronzy nude palette so this is one mm. of our new ones from who great selection of little matte shades mm, in there so and then nice. i just quick and easy just pop my finger in it and then wash some of the metallic shades I find these work really well with my eye color blue and this is really compact to take away with you so this is a little bit of does everything and you even get your little mirror in there as well yeah, you know, sometimes the great. bathroom lighting's bad yeah just take this out onto the balcony That's and go it. for it I am wearing um combination of this I've, I've obviously used uh Hula, yeah. <laughs> as my sort of base and yeah. then I've gone in with a slightly deeper color and then blended it out mm. um, up through the crease in that um, and then I have topped it off with this is amazing this, uh, is, this great, is the benefit one, one. Yeah. Um, so this is relatively new but mm. I find that the tip 
is quite pointy. I don't know if you can. And it's see really that. long lasting as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I find that um, it's a continuous ink. So you just sort of shake it and it won't dry out. This is the Their Real Extreme Precision Liner Mascara. So yep. I tend to go for a few different ones yes. uh, as we should rotate them very often. And I get to try quite a few. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is actually the Longcom Lash Doll. If you've got a lash lift, mm. I find this, it goes really nicely. You can wiggle it at the roots. The yep. brush is kind of curved. Yeah, it's very kind of. nice. I find this is really good for your bottom lashes as well. And it's not clumpy. So if you like mm. that really natural finish for every day, this is perfect. Now, if you're going for full glam, mm. the new MAC stack is quite an interesting brush. So you can sort of change up your look oh, a little bit. Yeah. So if you're doing full glam, then definitely go for something like this. Or lips. So I always start off with my trusty yeah. Lana lips. Now, uh, this is right down to the end. Now I have to put this in my next staff order. This is, you know, all rounder multi-use. Um, you pop it on your lips, a little bit on your cuticles at the same time. And that's mm. really good prep. I'm really into kind of the slightly deeper nude liner. So I really love this Napoleon one and it is called Taking Shape. It's in shade 90210. Oh, yeah, funny. Yeah. Another little 90s reference. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's perfect for that trending 90s lip. Yeah. And I like to pair it at the moment with this ABH one, which is kind of that really. Mm. Sort of I love shape. the ABH. They last so long on my lips. They do. And this one is called yeah. Taut Beige. Sometimes I will go in for one of the MAC bullets, which are kind yeah. of cold. Stock standard. Yeah, yeah. You've got to have one. Yeah, you've, you've got to have, have one. one. Brows. I actually really like the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Filler. Now, this mm -hmm. is very similar in terms of what you see with um, some of the other brow brands. I just like it because it is a bit of a chiseled brush. Mm -hmm. I've got quite full brows and I like a, a full brow finish. So, a um, little spoolie on the end, comb it through. And this shade is medium brown. But I can see you've got one other little goodie here. Yeah. So, my favourite, and this yeah. comes up a lot, is the MAC Fix Plus. I actually really like the Magic Radiance because mm. it's another glow on top of glow. I multi-use it so I kind of spray it on top of my brush before I put a foundation on it in particular oh, a long wearing one I like this. Um, so if I'm putting something a little bit heavier on even um, what I love is the ultra HD from Makeup yes. Forever yeah and to make it really dewy I'll spray that on first and buff it on that's so clever and then I set it again at the end but one of my tips is actually I always spray my face before I put my mascara on because I find if you go and smudges, yeah, transfer. smudges. so yeah. that is my my tip we did finish this video, but then Sam brought something out that we had to come back for. It is a fan. <laughs> Oh, I've had a lot of practice. Yeah. Um, so the story behind this, I picked this up on holidays, but yeah. often when I was doing clients as well, yeah. uh, a lot of weddings happen in February. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're trying to set makeup, uh, especially when you've popped something like a setting spray on, mm. um, it's just something really key in your kit to have. So yeah. you've spritzed, you're in a hurry, you want it to set. Little fan. I'm going to buy one of these yeah. for my kit and for yeah. personal use as well. That is excellent. Yeah. Better than having a little electric fan, which is also really good, you know, when you get your lashes done. Yeah. But yeah, I like this. I carry it everywhere with me. Oh my God, I love. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us today, Sam. It's okay. It Anytime. was lots of fun. And we'll have to go through your extended kit next time. <laughs> yeah, the full glam kit. Well, if you have any questions at all, please just pop them in the comments and we'll get back to you. If you want to watch more videos like this, just click over here. If you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of these videos thanks so much for joining us guys we'll see you next time bye